ओम आनंदमयी चैतन्यमयी सत्यमयी परमयी ओम श्री अरविंदो मीरा इज माई रिफ्यूज नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन ए स्पिरिचुअल टॉपिक दैट इज एस्पिरेशन द मोस्ट रिक्वायर्ड थिंग द एफर्ट दैट इज एस्पिरेशन as we have seen as long as the lower nature is active the personal effort of the sadhak remains necessary the personal effort required is a triple labor of aspiration rejection and surrender on aspiration the initial the first step the personal the triple labor of aspiration rejection and surrender out of the three triple labor first labor we are going to discuss on aspiration today there was a beautiful message by sri aurobindo a psychic fire within must be lit and all must be thrown into it with the divine name on it you just um, we can take the first um, part of this message a psychic fire within must be lit then from that from this part of this sentence the part of the message one question comes is not the psychic fire always lit there is a an answer from mother it is not always lit then con- consequently the question comes then how to light it up how to light the psychic fire then sri aurobind mother quotes by the three processes one is by aspiration that we are going to detail ask uh, discuss in detail of course in brief then by the will of for your progress by the urge towards perfection that is the second condition the by past is by aspiration second is by the will of for progress by the urge of towards perfection third above all it is the will of for progress and the self purification which lights the fire will for progress number 1 then self purification which lights the fire um, lights the fire of course that is this is psychic fire the will for progress those who have a strong will when they turn it towards the spiritual progress and purification purification first there must be a will of course we are concentrating more on the strong will when they turn towards the spiritual progress and purification automatically the light of the fire within light the it light, automatically it lights the fire within themselves then what the, the the next step and each defect one wants to cure of cure or each progress one wants to make the defect to be cured or progress to be made if all the thrown into the fire if everything is thrown into the fire of course the psychic fire it burns with a new intensity this is not an image it is a it is a fact in the subtle physical which you are not giving a image to just to describe but it is a fact one can feel the warmth of the flame so in the mother quotes here one can feel the warmth of the flame one can see in the subtle physical the light of the flame and when there is something in the nature which prevents one from advancing and one throws it into the fire that uh, the, the matic material the particular instrument what is actually prevents from advancing it must be thrown into the fire it begins to burn and the flame becomes more intense so these are usually those there are resistances barriers obstacles which are coming on the way it will be simply thrown into the psychic fire so that it will be burning and this will provide fuel it will the flame will be more intense so these obstacles and the, these resistances will be just made simply fuels then the st- next step the next step we are going what is the aspiration and what how it is differentiated from the desire sri aurobindo calls it only there must there are four things four intentions towards aspiration number one is freedom freedom number two is to god light and immortality so if we have got seeking for this four freedom god light and immortality then it indicates that definitely we are aspiring excluding these four i mean freedom god light and immortality for what we have got the seeking or we have got the interest these are all desires so desire is nothing but a child has cry crying for bliss 
it is crying if something is given some toy is given some food is given it gets satisfied like this it is the desire but thing is that aspiration that shows the image of a crown in the dark in the contrary darkness in the intense darkness it shows the image of a crown there is a movement from the ignorance to the light from falsehood to the truth from the inconscient to the superconscient it there is really aspiration couple of um, definitions messages we can take from sri aurobindo's writings on aspiration all sincere aspiration has its effect aspiration is that there and sri aurobindo quotes sincere aspiration it if it is progressive if, it, uh, if the aspiration is sincere then it has its effect then second quotation second definition is from sri aurobindo if you are not constant in aspiration there must be consistency in your aspiration if this consistency is lagged anyhow if you you are not con constant in aspiration the nature will then sink down back into its old lower ways so with difficulty with through the power of the our sadhana we are going to moving forward in the step in the stair in the step in the hierarchy from one step to the higher step from lower to higher from one to second like this we are moving up suppose this aspiration there is no consistency or constancy is aspiration the nature will sink back into the old lower next ways so again from the higher it will sink back into the old lower folds so there must be a consistency in your aspiration then suppose uh, hearing all these things somebody will be very much rigid very much intense in aspiration and simultaneously there is also impatience impatience is there to those here are in the cousins aspire intensely but without inter impatience impatience in this aspiration must be intense there must be intense aspiration but without impatience there should be no point of no chance of getting impatience the next one is there is no need of words in aspiration aspiration needs no words aspiration is aspiration no need of words for that it is a flame something like burning like a flame so it can be expressed on express or unexpressed in words so words may have some there it has it may have this presence need or may not have its need so the it can be expressed or unexpressed in words then you are in the course again the intensity of aspiration begins the intensity of experience so if the intensity the aspiration is there second one it will come the experience if the intensity this experience is this uh, repetitive then there will be of the change so for the change is for the change to to come so naturally aspiration is required from aspiration comes the experience is from the experience if the it is intense there will be change so from change is required the basic factor is aspiration but sure in the course it only aspiration but timely or short aspiration or bounded aspiration is not available it depends upon the how intense you are in your aspiration sure in the direct quotation is here the intensity of the aspiration brings the intensity of experience and by repeated intensity of experience the change then only the change comes the change arrives anyway so here in the course here the ideal sadhaka should be able to say in the biblical phrase here in the course the ideal sadhaka should be able to say in the biblical phrase my zeal for the lord has eaten me up my zeal for the lord has eaten me up it is this zeal which what is that your zeal that uschaho it is that zeal for god or uschao the zeal of the wholeness for the fulfill, for the attainment of the divine what is that zeal that uschao not for any supply and or small things it is for the attainment of the divine that devours the ego and breaks up the limitations of petty and narrow mood for the full and wide reception of that which is six and for which being universal exceeds and the being transcendent surpasses even the largest and highest individual self and nature so very beautifully sir bind has given the real clue the true she has shown the true path the ushcha the zeal that only attainment of the divine the if that zeal is there that devours ego and breaks up the limitation of its petty and narrow six so this narrow sickness petty sickness and the ego that barrier automatically breaks up if there is a zeal for the attainment of the divine that who is 
being universal this jil being universal exceeds being transcendent surpass even the largest and highest individual self and nature because this jil is there jil is for the progress the first determining factors here in the speech the determining element of the siddhi is therefore the intensity of turning the initial the first condition for the element of siddhi is the determining element of the siddhi therefore the intensity of turning the force that which it directs soul up inward the siddhi the intensity of turning how we are turning intensity of turning the force which directs the soul inward so the condition is that turning going inward and living in the psychic being the inward life that is that is the most intense requirement here the power of aspiration and of the heart the force of the will the concentration in the mind and the perseverance and the determination of applied energies that are the measure of that intensity how we will know that we are intense in our aspiration if the intensity of aspiration is increasing then intensity of experience will grow by repeated intensity of experience then there will come the change so the thing is that the intensity of aspiration counts the measure in the this is the major thing while prospering towards the um, upper life higher life so thing is that intensity of aspiration can be measured with the three or four life four things here in the has quoted here the uh, power of aspiration in the heart it is the intensity of turning the force which directs soul inward so this power of aspiration of the heart number one as power of aspiration of the heart second one the force of the will third the concentration in the mind fourth the perseverance and the determination of the applied energy are the measure of that intensity if that measures this counts if this is, there is some bigness or greatness then then naturally that intensity of aspiration will is you will in, uh, get up and with the um, getting up of this with the enlargement of this intensity of aspiration there will come intensity of experience and from there it will there will be the intensity repeat by repetition of this intensity of aspiration that will, will come the change still in the again course the development of the experience in its rapidity its amplitude its intensity our power of the result depends primarily in the beginning of the path long after on the aspiration and personal effort of the sadhaka already here in the has court the personal effort required is a critical level of aspiration rejection and surrender for this intensity and power of itself depends primarily on the beginning of the path at the beginning uh, because she has quoted as the as long as the lower nature is active the personal effort of the sadhaka remains in the it remains necessary in the beginning of the path and the long after on the aspiration and personal effort of the sadhaka it depends then sri aurobindo comes to quote here the first thing necessary is the aspiration for the divine for the spiritual aspirant only aspiration is required and aspiration for the divine for the spiritual seeker divine is all the first moment of aspiration is this you have a kind of vague sensation that behind the universe that there is something which is worth working which is probably you don't know know it and the only thing that the worth living for which is connect you to the truth something on which the universe depends we concentrate and we connect to something on which the universe depends that which is not depending upon the universe or something which still escapes your comprehension but which seems you the behind all things everything is there so in the course after some time i have said here much more than the majority of the people feel the, about the thing but this is the beginning of the past aspiration this is the beginning without it nothing can be done this is the best this is the beginning to know that to not to live with the perpetual falsehood that is the thing perverted and artificial this would be something pleasant to find something that is worth living for so i think is the worth living for that is aspiration and for that what is required is a concentration concentration upon the divine that is the most required thing that is so we must aspire for thank you